Okay, Tough Mudder team. This is your coach, this is your leader. Um, I'm gonna make a quick video today to give you some tips on how to prepare, what to pack, and how to strategize the next few days and the day before and the day of the big Tough Mudder race. First of all, let's keep this in perspective. This is for fun. At this point, there should be no stress, no worries, no anxiety. We are all gonna help each other and I want us to all be looking at this as a fun afternoon out where we get to be with our friends. There's no stress of the clock or the competition. We're just gonna go and have an adventure together. I'm going to have this video broken up into three parts, okay? The clothing, the prep, and the food, okay? Um, I do not want to forget to say thank you, Alicia. Thank you for putting this together. Thank you for guiding us through this process. Thank you for all the amazing organization that you've done, okay? We are all excited and there's a lot of buzz around the gym about the first Tough Mudder, okay? Sorry about the insects flying around here. Okay, next up, well, the first thing we're gonna talk about, guys, is there are three things you cannot forget. And I've talked about these before. You need your identification, you need to bring money in the form of cash, and you need to print and sign the waiver. Those three things, we've talked about them in practice. Put the, those three things you can put in your bag today. Just put them in your bag today and forget about it. Next up, the clothing. Okay, we've discussed this before. I want to talk to you. Find an old pair of shoes, and normally I'm going to run in my old pair of nanos. I'm just going to, I know I don't use these anymore. They're totally worn out, they're flat. Um, they allow water to come in and out. I don't want them to hold water, I want them to be able to drain easily. I'm going to be running in my old nanos, okay. I'm going to have loose socks and I may wear socks that go up my shin a bit just because I know there's, there can be thorns or there can be long grass that can cut the shins so I'm going to just wear some long socks okay very tight fitting I'm going to wear a singlet that's also tight fitting and some short socks and some short shorts ladies I'm sure most of you are going to be wearing tights and wear a tight fitting top okay the temperature, thanks to Natalie, she has mentioned that it's going to be about 28 degrees, sunny, so it will be warm, but we are going to be getting in and out of the water, okay? So it's very important that you stay warm before the race and that you have some warm clothing to put on after the race. You don't want to be wearing dirty, wet clothing. Get something warm that you can put on, some fresh clothes that you can put on because we have to be nice and clean once we get back into the luxury bus, okay? Um, very important, bring plastic bags. Bring in Coles bag, bring a Ziploc bag, something to put all your wet gear in, okay? And some of us may be just throwing those old clothes away. If you're not, bring, bring a plastic bag to put all that wet gear in. I, I myself always carry with me because, um, I don't know, I have weird idiosyncrasies, but I always carry a towel and a bar of soap, conditioner, shampoo, and a hair dryer with me wherever I go, okay? I'm not saying you have to bring all your toiletries, but I'm definitely going to bring a bar of soap and a towel, use the hose pipe, put some soap on my body and dress. We're going to move to the next category, okay? We're going to talk about prep, all right? Firstly, um, drink, 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 okay? It's going to be quite warm. I don't only mean drink the day of the race. Drink two to three glasses of water extra the night before the race okay two to three glasses extra the night before the race pack your bags and set out your outfit the night before all right it's gonna you don't want to have to be worrying about things pack the bag pack the lunch set out your um tough motor outfit on your bed or wherever you dress set it out ready for the morning i want to recommend two things as your coach stretch the night before especially the hamstrings Stretch the hamstrings out and take a walk. Take a nice, calming walk, 
before bed. This will help you sleep and also help your body flush out and help your body stretch. Walking is the one thing that lowers cortisol levels, so it should give you a good night's sleep. Food, the big question, okay? We have a 10 a.m. start, okay? That means we should have a high carb, a high carb dinner the night before. When I say high carbs, it doesn't mean pastas, it doesn't mean rices, it means lots of veggies, okay? Lots of veggies and some lean protein. I want you to eat chicken, beef, that kind of thing. Eat a good meal, all right? At seven o'clock the next morning, we're gonna cut off food. So before 7 a.m., I want you to have a light breakfast, two to 400 calories, in that light breakfast, if you have a weak stomach, you can have a liquid breakfast, maybe a smoothie or something like that, but avoid high fat proteins. Stay away from bacon, stay away from cheeses, stay away from yogurts. You want very clean food right before the race. So you're looking at maybe a couple of eggs, maybe you're looking at a little bit of oatmeal, maybe you're looking at something like that. The day, bef the, the day of the race, before 7 a.m. okay also up the water on the day of the race you want to be drinking lots of water as you wake up the first thing you do as you wake up drink water as far as the food goes guys don't eat anything unfamiliar okay stick with what works for you stick with the foods that know are going to help you perform don't try any new gels, any new pre-workouts, any new stuff the red day of the race. It could upset the stomach and we don't want that. On Saturday morning, we'll meet here 7 a.m. We'll get in the bus together and we'll go to the race. One thing I want to remind you of, the bus needs to stay clean and we need to get home here by 3, 3.30. So as the race is over, quick change up and we'll get back on the road, all right? We are not stopping for lunch on the way home, so like I said earlier, you may want to pack a lunch that you can bring with you and f eat some food on the way. I sure we'll stop for a drink, but we probably won't stop for a full-on lunch because we got it because we had the later start time. Um, I'm looking so forward to the race, very excited. Um, please email, text if you have any more questions or if I've forgotten anything in this video. Thank you. Good luck, team.